Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Dwayer. Today, another video, another compilation of Hyper Awakening and T-Skills. So let's just get it popping. Just no, not my content, please, down below into the description, links to all of the channels of the video holders. Please give them likes and subs, whatever you can to support these people as well. As for one of the people on my recent videos asked me, hope you find some good striker hyper awakening skill and awakening showcase. Been trying to find for a friend. Well, I got you, homie. So this will probably be one of the best showcases that there are, meaning that you will have to get 16 stacks in order for you to pop the T skill properly with all of his current damage. However, I do state it already into one of my comments that I believe that this T skill is even the wrong one for Deathblade Striker because if you look at the initial Brawl Shaza upgrading potential, then it doesn't seem at all to be useful for this class. But his damage is no joke! Can we see it again? No, because it's already dead. So far for the showcase. But the fact is, it's still getting out DPS, yes. Rough. And this is the leap tree coming from those skills where I will give one explanation why I think everything that is shown within the current showcases should be taken with a grain of salt. Because let's look at the left side. Left side is the other skill, supposedly for esoteric strike, but I'm not really sure about that. Because if you look at the right part, it says the charge time esoteric strike is reduced by 30% and the cool time is reduced from 8, 16 to 24 seconds. While the number of elemental orbs consumed is increased by 1, the damage dealt to the enemy is increased by blah, blah, blah. Now, if you would really pick this skill, it really doesn't matter if you get the 24 second cooldown reduction. Reason why you still have to get 16 stacks in order for you to have a maximum benefit of this skill. However, if you would then put it up to different rotations, I am not quite sure. But then again, having an extra elemental orb increased by the cost, it is one that you cannot even have because there's no five orbs that you can charge. So that doesn't make any sense for me. The same is for the left hand side where you technically can charge up all of your skills. Cool time marching reduced by 5 seconds which is great apparently. But first kick, skit and more damage increase. And then here elemental gauge gained by 50%. Now this seems very much more beneficial for a death blow striker. So in all of the videos even though it does seem very good. I have my honest opinions on this, whether this will be the be all end all. But then moving on to another one of those shimmies where everything might change once the Brelshaza patch will hit. Here we go, massive burst, look at the HP, is actually getting depleted like a mother. Ugh, CL dropping and you didn't even see it being casted. But here's one of the things, even though its damage is absolutely humongous, this might change into its rotation because right now the person is popping the skill within the identity. Going down below, looking at the Soul Eater part, there is a left hand side that says, oh, when cast in normal state decreases the cooldown by 25%. So the thing that I tried watching and tried to find is whether this one has a ridiculous and I mean ridiculous charge onto your identity skill because that seems absolutely humongous. But the funny part is, this damage increase is no joke neither and it's already dealing a lot of damage. But then let's pick up the other counterpart and I am so excited for this one. I might even change my full moon to a nice edge after seeing all of this because ugh, the classes look is so fuego. Go back in. Don't mind the damage though on the Trixion because I feel like this dude is low for a sun degree. So here we go, get into shape. Oh, smacks in asses. And then we go. Can we get ourselves extra identity skill? Swing all over the screen. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Now, here's another thing. If you look at the overall cooldown of the T skill, it seems very high. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, if I would open up the T-Nodes once again, there is a massive cooldown reduction on this one, which instantaneously makes me believe that it should be possible to put this twice into a rotation. Am I going to be right about this? I do not know, but I think it really breeds perspective on how this class is going to play eventually. 
Because the cooldown that we've seen in the video was, what, 41%, but then it says you can get a what? A 32 second cooldown reduction? Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell? You will be able to put this up way too many times. That is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm probably gonna bore you guys to death, but this is one absolute insane feature. Because here we got Luna Reaper. Uh, get the get the hit in and then uh, very early on that counter, but it worked. Here we go, 700 hit. Why not? Can we get some more? Do we need some more? 1.5 billion damage. But we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. We got El Schneco in the building. <laughs> Can we get the big hit? Oops. But no, we're not getting the T skill. No, ladies and gentlemen, this is a treat. Everything is dead right now. Bleep! That's one dead. Oh, we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. We got some more. Can we just get the last hit in? Why not, ladies and gentlemen? Two Schneckos dead. And if you would have to get the comparison, we have another one. Easy enough. Meatballs and ass. Don't look up. So that's one dead, but there's 55 bars on the clock. And you might think, is this even possible? Ladies and gentlemen, I assure you, within the next coming patches, life will become easy. It is absolutely nuts. Ugh. And I assure you, this is the only behemoth guide that you will need. Grab a team of probably 7,000 artillerists. Make him use all the Hyper Awakening skills and your screen is loaded with probably FPS drops most of all. But laser beams, missiles, carpet bombs and whatever the hell and this boss is getting absolutely obliterated. We're getting the bonus, everything is getting exploded. What? <laughs> Ew. I'm, I'm supposing this is what World War 3 looks like. But then we got the one thing that I haven't showcased yet, Empress Arcana and just like the Emperor, a nasty skill with a nasty amount of damage. But because of the reset capacity coming from this class in particular, the ability to keep spamming the skill for no apparent reason is very likely to happen. And if you look at it in an actual raid, we got the ShamWow leg. Here we go, charge up and then do we get it? And it hits for what? 1.5 something. And guess what? The cooldown is even lower in retrospect to all of the others that we've seen so far. Why? Because it's easy to lower your cooldowns on this class. It is just so absolutely nutty. And then we got one thing that literally blew my mind because I haven't seen much of Gunslinger yet. But this is one of my main classes. So I decided I need some of this. Reason why? We got a sales T skill, a blue shotgun, but this one will change for the better because on the T nodes you will be able to then move while using that skill. And I thought, oh, for the utility part that is absolutely great until I saw this. The shotgun version was great. However, the rival version is so much better. Ew! Two billion damage. In comparison to a what? We got nothing. Eh, 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 eh. Probably a 1.2. So the difference there is absolutely humongous and the cast time itself is pretty neat as well. But for the people that are aware, we got another one, the handgun skills. It is guns in, it makes no sense, but it looks cool. It absolutely looks fire. I haven't seen the actual damage on this just yet, but I am afraid nothing will top the rifle damage whatsoever. I have one person that was particularly happy about Enhanced Weapon Deadeye. So here we found a little clip of him just nuking the hell out of T-Mine Gate 4. Here comes Ew, BFG of 1.2 million and the fact that it is so easily cast. That is just sickening. For the full video, once again, down into the description, check that one out, drop him a like. But not before we get to see one thing. Hey, the eh. 3.3, ladies and gentlemen, and one of the fastest casts that I've seen so far on the Hyper Awakening skills. My god, that is so sick.
But I cannot leave without giving Taijutsu Strapper a little bit of love. So here we go. Dragons in ass. 4.6 with a 11.4. Now I am not sure whether that is billions of damage or whether that is a little lackluster. But all I know is FPS drops. Lots of it. So a little short but sweet today, not much that has been shown that we haven't seen already. If I find anything that is interesting, I will show you guys. However, just make sure to drop a like and a sub for the people that have shown these videos. And if you are already at it, please drop one for me as well. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.